to my channel, The Struggle is Real, with the makeup nurse. Today is Valentine's Day. So, if I mix it up Monday, we're going to do a Valentine's Day look. And I'm going to dip into three different palettes. So, for the first palette, I'm going to go in and we're going to try to do a glam look. And this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. So, we're going to first go in with this shade here, Strip Poker. And we're going to make a glam look. And this is always a special time for me. Not necessarily Valentine's Day, but the next day, the 15th. Because 26 years ago tomorrow, I started dating my husband. And I was like... So in awe of him. He was so cute. He was a bad boy, hottie, you know, all that. And I don't know why I was even into that because I usually wasn't, but man, he was so cute. And so then he started dating me. I was in high school, he was out, so I didn't I figured like because of who I was, he wouldn't it wasn't gonna work out and I'm like, he's gonna break up with me. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> but yeah, I... I fell for him, like, almost immediately. So, now let's go in with this Barbarella palette. And I want to try to get this Ryan shade. And put that... Outer skirts of the eye. And um, before I met him, he had a Camaro, but he totaled it, he got in an accident, where he got ejected and the car landed on top of him, which then when I met him, he had this, like, just a regular car, nothing fancy, but then he did get a Camaro again, and he did scare me a little bit, but I'm like, I thought it was cool at the time, because I was 16 year old, you know. <clears throat> okay, let's now do, actually, you know, let's go back in with that transition shade and kind of bring it up a little bit more. And no, he's not like that anymore. <laughs> okay, cook greets time. But my son is a lot like him. And I'm like, oh, stop being like your father. Because when it's your son, it's not cool. It, you're worried all the time. And my husband, he's had more than his nine lives. I'm like, you're out of lives, you better be careful now. No more bicycles. No more might motorcycles. No more fast cars. Well, I take that back. I do like fast cars. We both had um, GTOs while back and so I do love my GTO all right now I'm gonna go in with this palette and this um, complex con culture prop um, palette and I am gonna go in with that silver shade but you know what let's 
Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with the silver shade and see if it'll go on pretty good. Okay, let's take the black shade and kind of blend that into it now. Kind of smooth that out a little bit more. I'm just gonna go in with the eyeliner now. Some black eyeliner. Even though this is kind of black, I think I'm going to try to do a wing. I guess I just kind of brightened up the black a little bit. starting to get light out now so hopefully the lighting will be a little bit better <clears throat> can't see it as much but that's okay So yeah, I just went in with the Galactic that I've been using, and then this is the MKNK that I bought off of Amazon. <clears throat> okay, now for a primer, because it's a kind of a special day, I'm going to use my expensive Tatcha primer. I've only used this like twice. it is so expensive and it's not like I'll get this a lot in my subscription boxes because that's where I got it so like I try to save my expensive makeup for special occasions or certain videos that I might do because I don't want to just use it use it up because I might need it for something and I don't know how often you get these in subscription boxes. But if you saw my dupes video, you know that this is just like that um, Elf Poreless Putty Primer. And it does 
work really good. So if you don't want to spend the like, I don't know, $50 or whatever this is, but you want to see if it will work for you, try the e.l.f. Because that is so much less expensive. Like it's probably like $3 or $5 versus like 50 bucks. Okay, so for foundation, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Camo foundation. E.l.f. really does make really good products. And they're affordable, so if like, and there's a lot of dupes for things. So if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend that much money on whatever brand, try an e.l.f. It probably works. Just as good. Milani actually has quite a few dupes too. I don't have a lot of Milani products though. And I think the reason is, is because I have so much makeup that I don't, for my subscriptions so unfortunately a lot of my makeup is high-end and if I go out and buy makeup yes it's drugstore it's but it, I mainly do elf and I have quite a few wet and wild um, but that's about it um, and then I have like I, well I don't need more makeup so I don't need to buy it but then when I go to Ulta I get coerced into the smelling products which is more high-end, Too Faced and Tarte. <sighs> yes, I know. <clears throat> My obsession. I'm gonna go in with the Camel Concealer. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Me? I'm going to the airport. But we celebrated this weekend. Or we usually don't celebrate Valentine's Day, we just celebrate our anniversary of when we started dating. So so it gets out of Valentine's Day, kind of. But I won't be here for that day either, so that's, I'll be back in California, so. Now, we need to do, oh, cream bronzer. I'm gonna go in with this Tristic bronzer. I love this bronzer. I've been using the Natasha Denona concealer, but that one, that's my favorite bronzer, so today I'm gonna use that. But yeah, I was like, I don't have as many cream bronzers, and I, I got out of a subscription. I don't know how expensive, but I know her stuff is expensive. And I'm like, I ain't, I'm not gonna throw this away. So, I made it work and did something else. And that's one thing I don't have a whole lot of is cream bronzers. I mean, I have enough for that'll last me a while, but not like everything else that I got. 
Okay, now we're gonna go in with cream blush and I'm gonna use this e.l.f. multi-stick. Now we're going in with cream highlight, and this is about face. I love this highlight, but I think I just spread it too much. That's all right. It's a cream, so it'll give my face a little bit of a glow, but I can kind of blend it in. You can kind of see it. All right, now we're gonna go in with powder and I'm gonna use the Cody Earspun powder. This does have a perfumey scent. But. I think I'm gonna try to do Scented Saturday this weekend. Because, you know what? Just because I can't smell doesn't mean, I mean, you can't smell it either, but a lot of the products don't remember what it smells like, so. Except for the new ones. I haven't been able to smell that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. I got this in my boxy charm. I got like the one month I got like it was all Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was like, holy cow, this is a good month. I think that was the Lux or Boxy Lux or whatever it is. Like the quarterly box you get. I was like, wow. And that's why, like, with the Ipsy, I get a little annoyed because, like, they, they say, like, the one quarterly box, they're like, oh, the curator is Huda Beauty. So I thought I would get, like, tons of her products. And it was that she curated her favorite one. So I had one product. And it was a lipstick from Huda Beauty. I was so disappointed. And then this month, this quarter, is Addison Rae. And I checked my Ipsy and I'm not getting anything from Addison Rae. So it's again, she curated her favorite products or whatever. You know, I really don't care what their favorite products are. You know. Yeah, they might be good products, but... I don't know. I'm just not into all that. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the donut bronzer. And the other one that I bought, if you saw my empties a couple, like a month ago or so, you know that I dropped it and it exploded all over. Oh, well. 
thank goodness this is more affordable by Physician's Formula. Actually, I don't know if I have any that expensive. I do have expensive ones though from LIS and that, but I don't know how expensive they are because I actually got two of those. So one is going to be going into a giveaway for you when I do my collab. Because I do have two of them. Did I just know it? Let's blend. This. And. For blush, I'm going in with the Cherry Coke blush. And this is supposed to this does smell, if I remember right, but I don't think it was like heavy, heavy of a smell. And it's supposed to slightly smell like Cherry Coke. Okay. And then, the Ofra highlighter, but, and this is in the glazed donut. Okay, now let's go in with our under our eyes and let's go in with, well, I, don't, I don't want to go in with the black. Um, let's go in with this dark sex, sexpresso shade. It's like kind of a, looks like it has a pur slight purple undertone of a brown. And then I still have some of that silver. So it's not complete black. It is dark. Okay. And then we'll go in and blend that. Let's take this brush and just kind of. Kind of does still look black, but that's okay. You know what, I think um, when I um, unboxed this or did the all haul, I said it smells like chocolate, but I think that's the tart ones. I think this actually is supposed to smell like coconut, I think. I could have been wrong. But anyway, all right, so let's go in with mascara. I'm going to just use my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. All right, let's do our eyebrows. I got this brow pomade, billion dollar brows that I've tried a couple times. I do better with the pencil, but I open this and I don't want it to dry out because I think this is more of an expensive brand. I'm not sure. I got this in my once again, my subscriptions. Yes, I got almost everything for my subscription.
All right. Now let's go in with the shade Heaven and kind of just put that right under the brow bone. And then in the Barbarella palette, we're going to go in with this Kofi shade. Now I'm going to go in with the Belle Pierre um, set. Lip set. Like I said, I'm not the greatest liner. I always wonder what the point of liner was, the liner. And then I started using it and I see the point, but it's like, what the heck? And then I'm gonna go on with Belle Pierre Antique Pink. I hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to go in with the Belle Pierre lip gloss. It goes over it. I won this kit from Jeannie over at Lips and Tricks and Makeup. Lips and Sips and Makeup Tricks. Okay. Okay, now we're going in with setting spray and I have the Dewey set um, Anastasia Beverly Hills setting spray. Okay. And this is my glam look for today on for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you think. And you guys have a great mix it up. Happy Valentine's Day! Bye!